With 107 wins in all competition, including eight Le Mans 24-hour class victories to add to their IMSA trance in North America, Corvette Racing has been dominant. For 20 years, Gary Pratt has been building the race-winning machinery. It's in his DNA. When I was younger, I was in uh, athletics a lot. You know, I really had a competitive mindset. But I like to build things, build my own go-karts, that kind of thing. But I was fortunate to meet a lot of good people at the right time and was fortunate to build A.J. Foyt's IndyCar, a couple of those. I think it was more that philosophy of wanting to build something better than everybody else. And everything we've ever raced, we've always built. After co-founding Pratt & Miller Engineering with racer Jim Miller and proving themselves on diverse GM projects, Doug Feehan brought an opportunity that changed everything. When the program started, we were hoping it would last three years. I know when Doug came to us with the proposal, it was more or less, well, we want you to do a car. We really don't know where we're going to race it yet. That's really how the program got started. That's how wide open it was. We all had patience, and we just grew it slowly, but we all had one focus, and that was to be better every time we went out. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that realize how skilled a fabricator that Gary is. I have a definite appreciation for people of high skill level, and I can tell you his welding skills, his metal bending skills, his forming skills, and then an intuitive knowledge of building body parts. I mean, he can look at a complex set of drawings and immediately see what's going on with that. And I think that was uh, one of the things that early on impressed me with him, and, and, and which helped create the bond uh, that we have. He never turns off his phone in these sort of situations. It's something we've learned to live with. <laughs> Corvette Racing's progressive but stable environment has created a winning formula, and their third consecutive IMSA Team and Drivers' Championships is testament to that ethos. The continuity is number one thing for success because you understand where people are good at and where they're not. There might not be the best talent you could get, but you know what they could do and you use the best part of them. The drivers the same way. They don't get treated any better than any of the crew guys, any of the engineers, any of the executives. We're all in this together. And in order to win, it's just as important for the guy putting the air in the tires as the guy calling the race. We try and get that culture in the whole company and then guys don't want to fail. He's got so much knowledge. He's got so much experience that you can go to him and Gary's usually got a different read on things, but often a very insightful read. The gears are constantly whirring in his head about what's coming next, which practice session, qualifying a race. He's always focused on what's coming up next. And you know, you can see that he's fiercely competitive. After 20 years on the competitive edge with Corvette Racing, Pratt is nurturing new talent alongside his trusted ally, Feehan, ensuring the bad boys from Detroit remain at the pinnacle of American sports car racing. We retain a wealth of what I just want to call experience, on track, off track, and Gary has an amazing way of transcending the environment in which he's in and moving forward to help convey those years and years and years experience. And I can't imagine me doing this all these years without him. My role has changed over the years from literally hands-on building the cars to team manager to now helping foster some of the younger guys and try to pass on some of the experiences you've had over the years of doing this to help bring them up to speed quicker. I'm enjoying it a lot. We uh, like to continue on with the success. People say, how do you keep winning when you've won for so long? And well, we don't look at it that way. As soon as you're only as good as your last race and um, we just want to keep winning and being at the top.